Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Silos Fishing. We're out here today at a new place that we've never fished before. I'm out here myself and uh, low-key anglers right over here once again. We're gonna check this spot out. We've never we've never fished this. Like I said, it's our first time. We had to lug our kayaks from way up a hill up there. So it's gonna be bad going back out. Uh, we don't even know how to pronounce this name, so I'm not gonna tell you guys. I might leak it down below unless we catch a freaking 10 pounder out of here. If not, you know, that's gonna be a secret honey hole and we can't give that away. So uh, anyway, stay tuned for today and I'm hoping for great content out here. I guess your mic works a little too well. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that sucker like picked it up, bro. Where's it at, dude? It's way back here. How? About... GoPro, stop recording. I'm gonna keep going back and forth. <laughs> See, look, I just did. I just make it start recording yeah. again. GoPro, stop recording. Oh, I feel like a monster right here before I even launch. You said there's warm mouth out here? Huh? You said there's warm mouth out here? It's pretty deep, I'll tell you that. It's like nine foot where I'm sitting right now. How deep is it right there? Nine and a half. I don't know where it's seven, nine. That's weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I got that little square bill in that bluegill perch color. It's pretty much gold with purple and a little bit of orange. Oh, I got excited there for a second. <laughs> I felt the tuck, but I think it was just hung, my weight hung up a little bit on grass. It's gonna be much hotter today, I'll tell you that. What? It's gonna be pretty hot today. Oh, there's something big right under me. I don't care, I still brought my coffee up. <laughs> What's your water temperature read? Yeah. Oh, there's some massive structure right here where I'm floating right above it. It looks like a big old tree just laid down right here. There's some big fish right here, bro. Oh, you know what? This tree, it looks like the trunk. It might be part of that. That's probably what that is. Part of that lay down right there. I'm going to toss this worm over there, though. Right up in there and see if I can get something crazy. Let us sink to the bottom. Oh, 
crap. Oh, dang. Yo. I'm on, dude. Oh, God. He's on the worm, so I don't think he'll get off, but... Oh, gosh. Oh, shut it. Oh, dude. Dude, throw it in there, bro. There's definitely more. I'm floating over all of them. Oh my god, what? Dude, this is my freaking PB, bro. <laughs> I think I just broke my PB. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me get my weight. My skill out here. Jesus Christ, dude. He was Bro, he swallowed the whole freaking worm. He broke the worm? No, he swallowed the whole thing. Yeah. Dude. Bro. That is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> okay, they're out here, bro. <laughs> dragging or bouncing off the bottom? I, I let it sink all the way and then I was bouncing it slowly. I was not expecting that already on that cast. Dude, heck yeah. I'm excited for this one. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, it's got potential, I'll tell you that. All right, guys, 2.9, if you guys can see that. Almost a three pounder, 2.9, 2.9, free. <laughs> let's go on the green pumpkin. Uh, no, it's not green pumpkin, it's green watermelon Gary Yamamoto Sanko, but for the lake that we've never fished before, guys, this is freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, get a nice video release for this guy. So you guys can check it out. All right, guys. Fish number one, two nine. She was pulling me hard. All right, guys, so I just freaking caught that one. That one fish out off of this brush pile. And the two nine, so hoping there's more. That's good. I mean, we'll, we've barely been out here maybe 10 15 minutes. Uh, we're hoping for more fish. I did have a bite uh, a little bit ago, right here, and then I just decided to go ahead and set up my phone. But uh, here's hoping, guys. We, I'm definitely trying to get do some more, and definitely my buddy over there needs to get on some fish today. We're fishing this, uh, it looks like a lay down over here. It's just a giant log that's laid down over here. And it's, what's that sitting in like six, seven foot of water right there? Yeah, it's like nine and seven foot of water. And we're just kind of casting out there and slowly bringing our stuff towards us. But that uh, little three pounder was definitely pulling me around. Good thing was he definitely engulfed that, uh, that worm guy. So it was not coming out. That's a giant drop off right here, dude. It's like nine, six, nine. <laughs> or maybe it's just because it's reading the top of the grass. Oh, shut it. What the heck? <laughs> Guys, that, I was not expecting that one, bro, at all. That, <laughs> that fish hit it. I was so, I was just going to retrieve it and cast it out again, but that little peep squeak here. He's got a lot of growing to do to beat that other one, but uh, two of them out here so far.
it's starting to be uh, worth it lugging the kayaks down that big hill. Go ahead and get this hook out of his mouth. Cycle, let's go. All right, guys, I think he's done now. You want to be a little jerk? Ah! <laughs> he's trying to bite me, bro. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let him go. He was a little mad. A little mad that I caught him. All right, guys, let's uh, fix that worm back on my... Uh... producing. Let's keep throwing them. like solid you know dirt rock whatever um but every now and then i'll get like some super tall red things right here in, in the graph hopefully one pops up so i can show you guys and that's just grass or structure like this right here coming up guys it's a piece of structure in the water maybe a big boulder or something and then fish will pop up you know around there and stuff like that but other than that that's pretty much all right guys so buddy over here has really great footage so you guys need to check that out go to his channel and blow up his videos with comments and just comment down below say carlos is bad juju and just blow it up for me guys i was telling him i was like he, he's always i was like dude for some reason every time i get away from him he catches something or when i'm not around he's like dude i've caught fish here and there and i'm like what the heck and he has proof of it and then i go fishing with him and it's super slow and he's like dude you're bad juju oh watch your watch your rod watch your rod, watch your rod. i saw it i see it i see it yeah so apparently i'm bad yeah, juju guys ever, ever since we started fishing together i like you never catch <laughs> anything prime example yeah if, if the people watching this channel. So you probably last week you would have seen that we we were at Eagle Mountain. Yeah. Sure enough, as soon as he gets out of my sight, I catch a bass. Yeah, go. I, I had been shooting golf the week prior to that, and we had to reschedule to go out again to go to Eagle Mountain <laughs> just so I could damn near get skunked again. But then he went away and I caught a fish, so it's all right. Yeah. So go check that video out. You guys will understand what he's talking about. It took you, it, how long were we out there? Like maybe uh, six hours, seven hours before like you caught one? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like 1.30. Yeah, and we had been out there since like 6.30, 7 o'clock is when we launched. Yeah. It was painfully slow. I mean, I caught a fish and then what, three or four hours later, I ended up catching another one after I had gone through, like, two GoPro batteries. Yeah. And then I lost that monster. I'm still curious of what that was. That was not on footage, oh, sadly. It was, it was but whatever that was, dude, man. I wish we could have at least seen it. Like, that would have been Yeah, that just to see what it was that was yanking me so hard. But uh, definitely going to be hitting that place back up. We're going to try to stay, like, 50 feet apart. 
<laughs> maybe like six miles. <laughs> but it, I mean, it ended up turning out a good day. It was rough because it was. Uh, so we did Marine Creek. You caught, you caught four or five bass. Yeah, I I hooked into like five, I think, and I caught three of them, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And I got zero. We were out there for. I think we were out there for almost ten hours. Yeah, we were out there for a long time. I have no idea what I'm doing. Evidently. I'm throwing the same thing he throws too, which is what's crazy about it. Yeah. The only thing that I did change up is sometimes I'll throw square bills. But other than that, I I throw pretty much the same stuff. Especially that day we went to Marine Creek since he was showing me what he had figured out and stuff like that. Because I've had horrible luck at that lake. And for some reason that lake, that day, I just, I don't know, I was on him for sure. <laughs> I took his pointers and I understood the assignment and then he just couldn't, you know, I guess catch one, but it's probably bad juju, you guys. We're going to change his channel name to Bad Juju <laughs> Bad Juju Silos, Silos, don't go fishing with that guy. He, you'll never get anything. You'll never catch a fish. Ever. <laughs> Now see what it is guys is I I automatically bring some fish with me on a stringer and then when you guys aren't looking I'll hook them onto my hook and I'll toss them out there. Xbox cheap <laughs> yeah, That's why they started you know that's why on tournaments like on on actual pro tournaments they they started putting people cameras on there. Yeah. They start people lay out like freaking fish boxes and sink them in the water and just go out there and yank them out. Turn them in day and freaking load up their their live well. You gotta go to that extent, man. Just stop fishing. <laughs> you take all the fun out of it. Well, right here we're sitting like six foot of water, so there's gotta be something down here. I mean, I don't know about the water. It's like chocolate here, but it's yeah, it's running this way, isn't it? I put a watermelon brush hog on. Yeah. You know what? I might just throw a, uh... oh, I have a black trick worm. That's what I'm gonna throw on this drop shot. So I was just waiting over here. I was watching one of his videos about him catching his uh, PB speckled trout or something like that uh, out, in, out in some marshes. Uh, and all I hear is silos and I turn around and he has a freaking fish. So let's go over here and see uh, what he got him on. It looks like a tiny little swim bait that he was using, but let's see what he caught. Let's get this in this video, guys. So let's let me get you guys turned around and you guys can see what he's using. What you catch, bro? What is that? Oh heck yeah! See guys, this is what happens, bro. I was way out there, not even paying attention. I got away from him. See the bad juju went away. And the bad juju went away, and he finally caught a crappie. Hey, a fish is a fish. Right. Hey, look at that. So good on you, bro. Good grind gonna go ahead and release that and uh, finally after a good amount of hours out here we oh, both yeah. managed to get on some fish Wanna know what, I caught it on? What, it, what was it a little paddle tail or something nope. what were you using no way the yeah. Mike Buka heck <laughs> yeah dude hey that's probably what they feed up on here Dude, I was like, there's no way we're all we're gonna one of us is gonna get a skunk. Like after this morning, I was pumped. Yeah. Guys, you know well. 
right, guys. So there he goes. He caught one. His spirits came up, and uh, we're probably gonna keep on fishing this for a little bit longer. Maybe moving to a different section, but we are not sure yet. Let me guys, get you guys turned back around towards me. You guys can kind of see what's going on. I was literally over there watching one of his videos, <laughs> just drifting away with this wind, and. Uh, Next thing you know, he freaking hooks into one. Pretty cool if you ask me. So, there is that. Alright guys, welcome back to CeeLo's Fishing. I have my kayak all loaded up again. Uh, man, it was a tough, like, five hours out here. I only managed to pull those two out early this morning. Uh, and my buddy finally, wherever he's at, he's on the other side loading his kayak. But, uh... He finally managed to pull a fish out. Debating on if we wanna go bank fishing for a little bit longer to see if we can't get on a couple more, but uh, I'm just gonna help go ahead and cut this video off. If I go bank fishing, I'm not gonna record any of it. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And like I said, go blow up his comment section down below and comment down below uh, CeeLo's his bad juju on any of his videos and uh, blow up his channel, guys. So anyways, thank you guys for watching again. And uh, have a great day.